there, you two. How are you today? I hope you're doing exceptionally well because Love of Fragrance, she's coming to you today with an Easter celebration recommendation of fragrances. Something I know you just going to love. And however, this is predominantly directed toward my ladies and my young ladies. I just want you to know, ladies, 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 these fragrances are for you. But however, you guys, if you're in a quest for a fragrance for your lady, well, I'm talking to you too. But I want you to know right now that <clears throat> I have some fragrances here that I just adore. And they are my highest recommendation for Easter Sunday wear. But before I get into this video, I just want you to know that these are devastating times for us in society right now and a lot of people are in quarantine or they are self-isolating or they are a government shutdown. Whatever you're experiencing, I want you to know that there's hope on the other side of the circumstance. And I'm just praying that we all come through this together and in order for us to do that, we have to remain unified and we have to follow the government guidelines. And I hope you're doing that, but if you are one of the individuals that's going to be victimized by the government shutdown and the stay at distance order, which they have enforced, I want you to know that even though you're affected by this particular issue, you still can find a little bit of uplifting spirit in the process of it. And I would like to bring some fragrances to you today to possibly inspire you a little bit, to give you a little bit of more inspirational spirit during this circumstance because I know it's horrific, but it's realistic also. So I want you to take into consideration that Love of Fragrances has some recommendations for you. And I'm going to introduce you to them now. Some of you are familiar with some of you may not. But regardless of whether you are or not, if you're not and you're interested, check them out. Because I'm doing this predominantly because of the fact that I love to smell ele elegant. I love to smell exquisite. I love to smell lovely all the time, if possible. But we as human beings know that sometimes we need a little bit of enhancement. And that's why I love fragrances. And these fragrances definitely inspire me. They give me uplifting spirit. They motivate me. They encourage me. And they definitely give me some assurance that, honey, you smell lovely today. Or oh, honey, you are exquisite. And I want you to share the same type of uh, experience that I share with fragrances. So I'm bringing you to a, fra a fragrance today. And my first one happens to be by Salvatore Ferragama. He's an excellent, excellent, excellent design fragrance designer. And that's all I really know about this individual, except for the fact that I love this here container that this bottle here, that this fragrance happens to be within. It's so lovely, but I've gone through the details of that on my previous videos. I'm not going to get into the, that literally, except for the fact that this is a beautiful design container by Mr. Salvador Ferragama. And the name of this fragrance happened to be Ammo. Honey, this here happens to be your ammunition. It's an oriental delightful Fully girly, youthful fragrance. Yes, very youthful. And that's why I recommended it to you because of the fact that I am going to recommend fragrances today to women. And the women that I recommend it to are going to be within specific age groups. And this one right here happens to be for a young individual. And that young individual can be between the ages of, I would think, over 18 or maybe pushing 30. <laughs> but this fragrance right here is for you. It's youthful, it's girly, and it's classified as a fun, summery, luscious scent. Very, very refreshing. However, it's pretty potent. It's pretty strong, but yet it's very sustainable. It's very youthful and very re re reinforceful and grants you assurance. And this particular fragrance will not let you down, honey. So this is definitely going to make you smell, smell really, really sweet on Easter Sunday, which I think a young lady should smell. She should smell very, very sweet and very young and very refreshing. And this particular Salvatore Ferragoma grants you 
that capacity right there and it also has a great deal of sustainability along with it because of the fact that with this particular fragrance they classify this as a creamsicle because it smells so creamy honey it gives me the imagination of being in an ice cream parlor and indulging in your most fragrant ice cream especially something creamy or maybe with a little marshmallow flavor applied to it and you it's you sense that this particular fragrance tastes like that because it smells that good. And to me, it has a sweet fragrance that's so lovely and appealing toward any young woman because it's predominantly over, over floraled with vanilla. And it has some floral scents in here as well. Like I said, the notes consist of a vanilla, a floral, a jasmine, but very, very, very sweet, 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 almost like a, definitely a Gordon scent. And it has like a Tahitian rose fragrance to it. Mmm, yes, it smells very, very oriental, but it isn't oriental, but it smells like it because of the way, way the notes are aligned. Very lovely, very exquisite, and very, very, very appealing toward young women. And it also has a twist of orange applied to this particular fragrance that I, would, I feel that you would find exquisitely lovely. So you young ladies out there, for Easter Sunday, I highly recommend that you drip your body into some shimmering <laughs> Savon Ferragamo Camo. This one right here, isn't that beautiful? This is my number one recommendation for Easter Sunday for young women. It's a lovely scent. Take advantage of it. Utilize it and enjoy it. And guys, this recommendation applies to you also for your sweet, sweet lady. <laughs> okay, number two, I would like to recommend to you <clears throat> one of my most exquisite, lovely, enticing fragrances. I should be classified as my number one signature fragrance because of the love that I feel for it, but it is not... I don't know why, yeah, maybe it's on a certain occasions, maybe I wear it as a signature scent, but most of the time I just wear this because I love it so much because it's a beaming scent that, that's, that's distributed such an exquisite amount of radiance throughout the room to a point where it's undeniably luxurious, exquisitely luxurious, and it's very sensual, and these sensual notes in this one happens to be combining with richness and a spirit of loveliness at its heart. The notes in this particular fragrance that give us an exquisite scent, which happens to be mm, Yang Yang Moss Honey and definitely a Gordon scent. It's so sweet. But yet and still, I highly recommend this particular fragrance right here for like I'm a middle-aged young ladies. And I say the middle-aged young ladies because of the fact it has that instinct of maturity but yet and still it has some drawback like oh i'm so innocent <laughs> it has that drawback of maturity but yet i'm so innocent because it makes you feel so eloquent and like i said luxurious and it also makes you feel so exquisite until the point where you feel like you are definitely the bell of the ball it's so tantalizing and it gives you a tantalization of power power with a little bit of seduction on the side so honey i know between that age a lot of young ladies are attached you are attached honey whether you have a ring on your finger or not honey and even if you're not attached do this for yourself and if you are attached honey your man will love it this particular fragrance has as far as its notes are considered, I classify, well, this one particularly has the sweet, sweet, sweet amber smell to it. Mm, and definitely some patchouli along with the tuberose and the coconut and sandalwood. And it even consists of an extensive amount of sweet roses. Yes, but it's a beautiful scent, honey. With this one, it smells like, it makes you feel, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I was looking at this scent earlier and I was trying to relate to exactly what this particular scent made me smell like. And I took into consideration that there's only one thing that this scent makes me smell like. When it says it's classified as the bell of the ball, 
I definitely find it to be that wear that classification as the belle of the ball because it reminds me of Cinderella, but not Cinderella at the ball. It reminds me of Cinderella driving down the street in a big giant black limo sitting next to her significant other smelling so lovely and exquisite because she done got her return he has returned her shoe to it and honey they're riding out into the horizons and this scent is so lovely to where he can't keep his hands off of her that's what this reminds me of cinderella after she receives her shoe back and her and her man are sailing out into horizon somewhere in a big beautiful limo it could be black white any color i don't care but it's giant and they are oh joint at the hips honey yes that's what it reminds me of because honey that's what i feel like when i put this here particular fragrance on i feel like definitely i smell them so luxurious i'm the most luxurious girl so i would say for you middle-aged ladies out there on Easter Sunday, if you wear this fragrance, you are definitely going to be the belle of the ball. Yes, Yahtzee by Javinci. In case I didn't tell you, it's by Javinci. Yahtzee by Javinci. Yes, number two. Okay, moving right along with my Easter fragrances. The next one I happen to have for you happens to be Mr. Mark Jacob Deckerson. Yes, this particular, you know how I feel about this. I think I brought this to your attention several times, but it's a beautiful lore fragrance, but I've told you many times. This one right here, <clears throat> unfortunately, today, when I tell you that, where I feel like this was perfect for the occasion, I'm not, you know, retracting on my classification of it or anything. I just want you to know that Today, I discovered exactly where this scent was most appropriate. This was scent more appropriate on a mature individual. Yes, it smells strong. It has that heavy, durable fragrance applied to it. But you know, it's one of those fragrances that you would probably put on your grandma or your mother wearing, which is not like in her 20s, but a little bit more mature. And maybe not in her early 30s, 30s, but a little bit more mature. But hey, this is like one of those that are grandma fragrances. So I would say this is my mature recommendation for Easter, Sun Easter Sunday celebration. And it happens to be by Marc Jacobs and it's called Decadent. Yes. And it's also one of those your sensual fragrances that you also may classify and it's luxurious based on the container i would think so it's extremely luxurious and extremely indulging and has such a exquisite spirit toward this particular fragrance to the point where it gives you a spirit of luxuriousness like i indicated before but yet and still like i said it's extremely mature as far like the fragrance is concerned because of the character distinctiveness in the character in this particular fragrance and it's so dynamic it's for a dynamic occasion so to me it's dynamic because it's dynamic is dynamic for a dynamic occasion and the reason is because i have told you before that it has a lot of grassy notes within this fragrance and it smells very forestry very earthy very strong very solid very hard <laughs> i'm not complaining i love it but i'm just letting you know what you're in for when you attain this one it's very forestry definitely only because of the fact that it says it has a little bit of powdery applied to it, but honey, I'm not feeling it. But I definitely feel the wood in this one and the amber, the floral a little bit, but it's um, the more, more the, the more, I would say, less sweet floral notes applied to this particular fragrance. And it's solid. Solid as a rock. Yes, this one's very solid. Solid, solid, solid. So you mature ladies out there, honey, if you're looking for sustainability, wearability, enforcement, and you want something that's solid and durable on your body for Easter Sunday, this here is your lady, Mark Jacob Dickinson. So I highly recommend this for my mature women out there. I, if my mother was around, I would definitely, definitely, definitely have her wearing this on Easter Sunday. Definitely. Okay, and my next one happens to be, what is it? 
Honey, I've explained this one to you before, but I'm happy to explain it to you again because this one right here is so, so, so my baby. This is my baby, honey. This here fragrance right here, I could make this one as one of my signature scents also, but I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to let the young ladies have it today. For Easter Sunday and all of the Easter Sunday, you can have this one for Easter Sunday, but then I'm going to take it right back because I can wear this on every day because it's that fragrant, that attractive, that alluring, and it's so refreshing. That's why it says for the young ladies, remember I told you that over 18 and maybe about 30, it's Blueberry Weekend. Yes, isn't that a little... <laughs> a lot of people don't like the container, but I think it's really cute. It's very cute. I think so. So listen... Oh, honey, when I smell this one, it just smells like I am in a carriage. Not like Cinderella, but in a carriage outdoors on a very, 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 very sunny day. And it's just so peaceful. Everything around me is just peaceful. And I'm with my significant other again. And... I'm not in an enclosed environment, but maybe I'm in a, like a garden environment or something, or maybe I'm in my cherry. It doesn't matter. It's just not so outdoors for me. They said it's classified as a country set, but I think it's a little bit too romantic for that. I classify this as a very sheer but refreshing fragrance. Very refreshing. So refreshing to the point where it's invigorating. It gives you the 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 perception that you are floating. It's so lightweight. It's so delicate. It's like I'm just floating in the air and I smell so heavenly. Oh my God. That's the perception I get from this particular fragrance. I guess because of the fact it gets you a great deal of exceptional amount of passion because it's to me very intimate. I mean, this you could put this one. I think I could put this one, honey, and I could feel so exquisitely beautified because it's a beautiful scent i would i would feel so beautiful in this particular fragrance i'm not gonna put it on right now i'm just letting you know when you apply this to your fragrance it beautifies you it, it elevates you it uplifts you to the point where you know it feels smells refreshing but whomever smells this fragrance on your body honey it definitely has a penetration of loveliness applied to it and it's very refreshing like i said before because it's so light it's so delicate inspirational I mean, it's draws. It, it it lingers and it draws people. To, but it smells like it has a great deal of lemon applied to it. But it doesn't. I think that's the peach in there. The notes in this particular fragrance has. Uh, I guess that's why they call it country. They put wildflowers in here, which is supposed to give it this floral scent. But also than that, it has a great deal of jasmine. It has sandalwood. It smells a little earthy. And it's very, like I said, invigorating. And... It has a peach and a tangerine and tree sap. I, uh, I think that's the most prominent note in this particular fragrance happened to be the tree sap. But anyways, this is your blueberry weekend and I'm going to let you ladies experience it for yourself on Easter Sunday. So if you have this in your fragrance repertoire or if you don't, I suggest you attain it because honey, this is a lovely fragrance and I'm sure your significant other would love it also. Happy Easter with blueberry weekend. <laughs> It set the tone just right. Especially since you are you might not be going to church or you may be going to church. I really don't know. It depends on your congregation, whether or not they're open on Easter Sunday. The government has forced a lot of um, congregations to shut down, but not all of them are adhering to it. So whether you're in the congregation or whether you're at home, this is a lovely fragrance to wear on Easter Sunday, especially for you young ladies whom I know are going to dress up real pretty on Easter. Enjoy yourself with some blueberry Ah, oh, weekend. It's lovely. And my next particular fragrance that I would like to introduce you to, I'm hoping that you're enjoying this video because of the fact that Easter Sunday is a very, very, very spiritual event and many people look forward to it. And uh, honey, you are not to me ever a lady, especially. You're not completely dressed unless you decide you are going to uplift your spirits by refreshing your body with a very attractive fragrance. And right now, honey, I'm bringing you a few that I think that you are going to find along with the other ones to be exquisitely designed specifically for that occasion. So let's keep going. 
My next one happens to be Mr. Versace Yellow Diamond and Chintz. Bam! <laughs> yes, you know how I feel about some Versace, especially that Versace Noir, which I still do not possess. I've been looking, I've been looking, I've been looking. But anyway, this particular Versace Yellow Diamond happened to be the sister to the already existing Versace um, Yellow Diamond. But this is Versace Yellow Diamond in Chintz. It comes to you with the complexity of notes that are directly designed for a summer event. A summary special event or occasion. Yes. So in other words, the diamond reflection here was designed specifically for um, a refreshing, again, another refreshing set. So this one right here, I classify this one as being appropriate for all age groups because of the smell that we attain from this. It's limited again, but it's predominantly for all occasions, actually, because this reflects a, a feeling of carefreeness, being very, very carefree. In other words, it leaves no restrictions upon you, honey. Go at your own will. <laughs> Do your own thing at your own time in your own way with this particular fragrance. That's what it's advising you to do. It's very, very carefree. And I know regardless of what your age happens to be, we all love to experience that moment at some point in our lives. We want to be assured that we feel carefree. We feel assured, especially when it comes to our fragrance, that we are not too overpowered. We are not underpowered. We have an alluring scent, and it's a very lovely fragrance and it's very detectable and that's exactly what you attain with Versace Yellow Diamond Intense. This has a great deal of intensity applied towards this particular fragrance. Mm. And the scent reminds me of an extravagant addition of a... Oh my God. No, it doesn't. It doesn't remind me of that. I am so sorry. <laughs> This fragrance itself happens to be an extravagant addition to your already existing perfume or fragrance wardrobe. That's what it happens to be. In other words, this particular scent in here consists of like, the notes are lemon, jasmine, amber, pear, freesia, some orange blossoms, and I would also say that it also has some accords of uh, Mediterranean Tahitian, and it's a very, very clean smelling fragrance. And it also grants you uh, the reflection of a bright sunlight. Yes, definitely a beautiful, bright sunlight. That's what it grants you a reflection of. I guess because of all this here glitter in this, on this particular fragrance container, but anyways, I highly recommend this for all you ladies that want to smell beautiful on Easter Sunday and smell exceptionally clean and oh yes there's some sweetness applied to this as well and like i said before i recommend this one for all age groups because i don't think it's too sweet and too young for a mature lady and i don't think it's too annoying for a young lady that may be attached or unattached in her middle ages or whatever and I don't think it's going to be disturbing. I don't think it's going to be too overbearing. I don't think it's going to be unattractive. And I don't think it's going to be undetectable because in in, in a, a congregational environment, whether you're at home, honey, you just have a very light fragrance on with this one. And it also grants you uh, the complement of a... It grants you exceptionally amount of compliments with this particular fragrance because it's very complimentary. Anyways, I highly recommend Versace Yellow Diamonds to you ladies out there of all ages. Enjoy. Remember, for Easter Sunday. And the very next one happens to be by Mr. Jimmy Chu. And it's Jimmy Chu Illicit. Yes, this one right here, and this is a beautiful fragrance also, and I'm highly recommending this for Easter Sunday because this particular fragrance gives you a reflection of confidence. And under these particular trying times right now, who doesn't need a vote of confidence, a reflection of confidence in their lives? And this particular fragrance will give you specifically that 
confidence. Confidence and assurance that you smell lovely. <laughs> yes, you definitely smell lovely. Mm, but not only that, it's extremely enticing and it's exquisitely lovely and it's designed for as a seductive scent as well. But however, on Easter Sunday, we don't want to utilize for that. And it's highly very sweet. It's pretty sweet. But so I recommend this particular fragrance predominantly for my age group of middle-aged young ladies, whether you're attached or unattached, but I think this is more appropriate for my middle-aged young ladies. And it doesn't have an exquisitely amount of uh, fra uh, scents, notes in this particular fragrance that I would like to provide to you today, but it does provide you a perception of a glamorous, glamorous scent and surprisingly amazing. It's very amazing and it's surprisingly amazing. And it has some very dark tones to it because it smells like it has a little bit of black currant in it. And it also smells like it's very earthy and fairly woody and it's not hard and it's not too delicate. But did I tell you whom I'm recommending it for? I, oh yes, my ladies that are middle-aged. That's whom I'm recommending this particular fragrance for because of the fact that it's lovely. It's exquisitely lovely and it's a beautiful scent. And I think you will love this one also for Easter Sunday. And it's by Mr. Juna Chu and I highly recommend it. Check it out. Okay, the next fragrance that I would like to provide to you for this particular uh, Easter Sunday recommendation happens to be the fragrance for all ages. The fragrance for all ages that's been around for about 40 years. Definitely. 40 years. Who would have thought it? <laughs> 40 years. Who would have thinking it? 40 years. Do you know who I'm talking about? You know who I'm talking about? If you don't know who I'm talking about, honey, I guess I better tell you. Remember, this is for Easter Sunday celebration. Whether you're in the house of God or whether you're right at home, Honey, this is the time to pull out your most luxurious, most exquisite, most elegant, most delicate, most loving, most charming, most exquisite fragrances that you have to beautify yourself on Easter Sunday. And who can do that without the girl, Chanel? Whoa! <laughs> Trust me. You don't want to go anywhere without Mrs. Chanel on, on Easter Sunday. I can't think of a better time to wear her unless I'm going out with my significant other to a luxurious occasion. I don't care if it's dinner or wherever, but honey, I look at this fragrance as appropriate for all occasions. And a lot of people say, why, wow, Chanel? That's so exquisite. It's so luxurious. You're right. You're right. But I think, honey, I'm the type of person when I pull my Chanel off and I put it on, I don't have to have anywhere to go. I just want to smell lovely that day. And that's why I recommend this for all ages. Because Chanel is a very lovely scent. And it's sweet. It's enchantingly, enchantingly adorable fragrance. Exceptionally adorable, lovely, floral, citric scent with amber and jasmine. And some sort of patchouli. And it has an exquisite amount of earthy notes applied to it. But it's somewhat sweet. But regardless... Of where you're going on Easter Sunday at home or serving the Lord or enjoying your family under these particular trying circumstances right now I want you to know honey Chanel will keep you complimented all day long honey this is a very luxurious and it's the best 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 that they ever created because it's the most vintage fragrances that I have in my possession <laughs> and she's been around for a while and honey everyone still loves Chanel everyone loves Chanel so I just want you to know that if you have some Chanel fragrance in your possession on Easter Sunday honey make that your friend for that day because she is going to grant you all the loveliness compliments that a woman would ever need especially under these particular circumstances, and this, this is what I'm wearing on Easter Sunday. So, honey, please do me a favor. Invest in your Chanel or pull out your Chanel and enjoy your Easter Sunday. I thank you very much for tuning in. I thank you very much for subscribing to my video. And I ask that you continue. But don't only subscribe, like and comment. I'm enjoying producing the videos. And I hope you're enjoying watching them. And I thank you very much. And happy Easter. Thank you.